Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Disco Ball Water Evaporator version 1. I removed the complex part of the propeller and the gear and the, the belt and whatever to just use no Disco Ball motor I had. It's rotating at 1.5 rotation per minute, so might be a bit fast for water evaporation. We'll know for sure on the playa. I had this laying around, it's not using much power at all. So if in, in your camp you have already a generator running 24-7, so why not use a bit of power? It's basically the same concept as uh, the, the other evaporator with the propeller and everything, but I just removed that complex part. I took two bicycle wheels. Yeah, sometimes it stutters but because of the friction, but it eventually starts to, to run again. So yeah. Took two bicycle wheel, remove the, the bolts, remove the bearings inside, put a metal rod going all the way inside uh, with uh, nuts on both ends to secure it. Same thing on the other side, just a piece of wood, a hole in it, a metal rod that drilled a hole. I use a keyring to uh, to do the, the part. I might use a if you're duty one in the future because might be bending a bit. I grinded the, the 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 treads on the metal rod so it would not go through the wood with uh, with the Dremel. We'll see about that and then some just some basic blast mesh going around, getting wet from underneath, well for the moment it's not there, on the playa we'll build a, a pond to get the water, but the basic stuff it's there. It's the version 1, might do some improvement in, improvement in the future, but for the moment I think it's working great. And it cost me not much apart, apart from metal rod and the disco ball motor I already had. So, uh, Probably after the burn this year, I'll put uh, some uh, review on it, how it works and everything.